So this is by far probably one of my more out there ones, but you guys know me, I've always been the one to do out there fan fiction ideas. So this one is going to be interesting in that we are going to be having a, is we're going to be doing some spooky pre-gaming today. We're going to be doing some pretty, uh, some uh, spooky pre-game. And what I mean by that is we're going to be mashing up Halloween Horror Nights with Mickey's Not So Scary. Kinda. So yes, this is Icons versus Villains, where we have the Disney, where it's basically an all-out war between the Disney villains and the Horror Nights icons. So let's get into it with this story, and this is going to be a big one. This is going to be a fun, brutal one. So the story basically begins is that Maleficent is just chilling in her tower, just like in her castle, just like, mm, I'm evil, go me. Um, but then she feels disturbance. There's a there's a new darkness kind of spreading, and it's not hers or any villains. She goes to investigate and discovers that it's fear. Um, and fear um, basically has arrived, and essentially he's arrived looking for like he wants to find a new power because the land the lantern that more or less was built to construct and, and uh, contain all of them. The lantern that was used to contain all the, all the evil, the way to get out of it's kind of getting harder and harder to do. Fear got out of it and wants to release all of his minions, and he believes using the uh, dark power that Maleficent has can free his, avatar, his, his other warriors. So he more or less, Maleficent's like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I don't care who you are. This is, I'm the mistress of evil around here. Like, around here, I tell people what to do. So Maleficent and Fear do battle, but however, during the battle, Maleficent accidentally breaks the lantern free, and all the icons escape. Like all of them are freed, they all gang up on Maleficent. She gets out, she gets the hell out of Dodge, and is like, "I am in over my head. I need to get some friends." So she just starts recruiting all these different, um, all these different uh, villains to her side. Meanwhile, like, Fear has gathered together all the icons. I'm talking Jack, his brother Eddie, Chance, uh, the caretaker, the director, um, the storyteller, the, um, you know, Lady Luck, Bloody Mary, um, the caretaker's daughter, Sydney, uh, the, uh, the usher. All of them are now free. Like, they all got out. They all got out. And now Fear, with his avatars, is now, like... Yeah, we're you know we are the superior evil here. Like we will spread a nightmare that will that will you know bring down the walls of you know reality. Didn't take into account that the problem is that Maleficent. If anyone's going to break reality with endless evil, it was going to be Maleficent. That was the kind, therein lies kind of the problem because Maleficent was like, no. You're not gonna do that. We we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're, no 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 no. We're we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that here. You see, <laughs> I me and my friends are uh, you know the only ones who gets to destroy all of reality. So you're gonna take your happy ass and uh, beat it. Well, this does not go over well with fear. So the two sides clash, and what happens is is that um, the icons and the villains all wage war across them all, uh, across several worlds and I thought of some fun ones because the villains are like used to doing all these horrible things but the, like the icons are like on another level like the icons are just on another level of just brutality that even some of the villains are like whoa <laughs> that is a lot to take in that's uh that's that's a lot that is that is that is way above what I was expecting so uh yeah but the like the villains do get over it. So you do have some matchups like you have uh, Mad Madam Mim who takes on uh, Lady Luck. You have the caretaker who does battle with uh, Frollo. You have Jack the Clown taking on Oogie. You have um, Chance going head to head with um... shit. Who did I have Chance against? Ugh, crap, I can't remember. <laughs> But yeah, you have all the villains just warring it out in an all-out, no-holds-bar, just clash of of all evil. Meanwhile, Fear and Maleficent are just kind of like guiding the pieces back and forth. Um, you know, they're more or less guiding their, pe their pieces like in a chess game, as Fear and Maleficent just more or less dictate how the war continues. Like, it's just a never-ending, like... Um, 
just all out battle with the uh, with the two sides and it's and it's no it's no holds bar like you've got freaking Eddie go, like waving his chainsaw around at, at um, Jafar who's just like holy shit what the fuck is this you have um, the caretaker like ripping apart uh, some of uh, the mini some of the um, ghouls that Maleficent has you have Sydney with her demonic toys ripping apart Sid's broom you have um, um and the Disney villains, like, quickly learn how to play ball because, yeah, they quickly learn that, oh, we can step up this game, too. Like, we can, you know, we can play this game, too. So the villains go back on the offensive, and the villains go all out, go all out on these other ones. Because there's the other thing the, villain, the icons don't have. The icons don't have num the same kind of numbers that the villains have. The villains just start recruiting in the masses. Sir, the icons are the more powerful side, but they lack in number, so villains are the villain side are now um, basically uniting on a bigger front. Like, they're more or less calling together like, they're calling everybody. You have Yzma, you have um, you have Scar and Shere Khan, you have Ka, you have all of these villains now who are being united under Maleficent's banner, while Fear and his minions, while they are the stronger side, they don't have the same level of numbers that they do. All they can really do, and how they kind of level the playing field to an extent, is more or less unleash all the horrors they unleashed in every year they showed up at Halloween Horror Nights. Like, every year they just basically unleashed more and more of evil and um, all the terrors and nightmares they've um, unleashed um, throughout the years so that's how it kind of plays out is that it's more or less like a war of attrition between these two sides clashing over and over again it isn't until like Maleficent's like look this war is just spiraling out of control the only way we can really stop this and the only real way we can put an end to this war is if we put that lantern back together and capture them all. So Jafar, Maleficent, and Mirage, and a few other villains get together, pull their magic to reform the lantern, and unleash um, a dark magical spell that pulls the icons back into the lantern, and <laughs> Maleficent just like, she's like, a, it's kind of like a Mount Doom moment where like Jafar's trying to tell her, throw it into the void, like, they create a void to toss it in there, and, like, throw it in the void, be done with them, like, they, you know, be done with them, and Maleficent's like, nah, I'm gonna hold on to this, <laughs> you know, in case, like, I could, you know, I could use the extra help now and again, so Maleficent more or less sends the other villains home, she keeps the lantern, and more or less is like, one, you'll figure, when, you know, I might have been in the need of your services one day, but... For now, I'm going to let you sit in there for a bit. She's just talking to the lantern, keeping all the icons in there. And it's like, yeah, one day you'll, you guys will may be useful to me. But for now, I'm going to let you sit in there and think about what you did. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much Villains vs. Icons. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this. Um, you guys tell me in the comments below. What did you guys think of it? Comment below, let me know. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.